Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. All of you know that we have to start our online class in this pandemic corona crisis. But some of you complained that you could not continue my full class due to internet problem. This problem made me think to make my lecture video step by step. Hope this video will help you to understand my lecture and will also help other persons who are interested on this topic. In this video, we will discuss about a name reaction that is open air oxidation. Name reactions are usually named after the chemist who discovered the reaction. The name reaction open air oxidation is named after the Austrian chemist Rupert Victor Oppenheimer. This reaction is a gentle method for selectively oxidizing secondary alcohols to ketones. This reaction is the opposite of another name reaction that is Marine Pond of Burley reduction. In this reaction, alcohol is oxidized with aluminum tertiary butoxide in excess acetone. In every name reaction, I try to discuss about the theory, mechanism of the reaction, applications and limitations of the reaction. I already discussed about the theory in brief in the previous slide. Here I am repeating the theory of open air excitation again with an example. So in the slide we can see that the secondary alcohol and acetone was reacted uh, in the presence of a catalyst that is aluminum tertiary butoxide. The reaction mixture was refluxed for several hours and after completion of the reaction the secondary alcohol will be converted to its corresponding ketone and the acetone will be converted to the secondary alcohol that is which is corresponding to acetone and the particularly the alcohol is isopropyl alcohol. In this reaction secondary alcohol is oxidized to ketone that's why this reaction is known as an oxidation reaction. So in this reaction aluminum tertiary butoxide used as a catalyst and after completion of the reaction the catalyst remain as same as before. So after uh, theory we want to discuss about the mechanism of this reaction. We can see in the slide in the first step aluminum tertiary butoxide was ionized to aluminum and uh, another uh, butoxide anion because the oxygen is highly electronegative compared to aluminum. The bonding electron between oxygen and aluminum oxygen it withdraw this bonding electron due to its electronegativity and after uh, breaking this bond between oxygen and aluminum uh, aluminum uh, cation and uh, butoxide anion is formed so after uh, completion of the first step then the secondary alcohol react with the butoxide anion which is formed from aluminum tertiary butoxide. Why? Because in secondary alcohol there is a bond between oxygen and hydrogen. And we know that oxygen is highly electronegative compared to hydrogen. Due to its electronegativity, oxygen withdraw the bonding electron towards it and after that proton is separated from secondary alcohol. So secondary alcohol when separate a proton after a withdrawal of the bonding electron by oxygen that proton was attracted by the butoxide anion because in butoxide anion oxygen has excess electron on it so oxygen after sharing is excess electron to the proton it converts to a tertiary alcohol so and from the secondary alcohol another anion is formed the tertiary alcohol which is formed after second step this tertiary detox uh, alcohol will use in the fifth step of this reaction for the completion of this reaction in step 3 the anion which is produced from the secondary alcohol in step 3 will 
share it excess electron to aluminum ion aluminum ion which is produced in the first step from aluminum tertiary butoxide after sharing the excess electron of the anion to the aluminum ion it form a aluminum isopropoxide so after forming isopropoxide aluminum isopropoxide in the next step it will react with the acetone in acetone we know that there is a carbonyl group and the bond between carbon and oxygen is the one is sigma bond and another is pi bond oxygen due to its electronegativity withdraw the pi electron and it becomes negative and the carbon become positive so after that the aluminum isopropoxide which is uh, formed in step 3 the oxygen of aluminum isopropoxide will withdraw the bonding electron between oxygen and aluminum so because the oxygen is highly electronegative compared to aluminum so after withdrawing this bonding electron oxygen become negative and aluminum become positive so when oxygen become negative it uh, tries to share its electron to the adjacent carbon but that adjacent carbon is bonded to hydrogen so due to the influence of the electron of oxygen when it tries to share its excess electron to carbon the bond between carbon and hydrogen is broken and hydrogen is removed as hydride ion then and then carbon become positive and oxygen can share its excess electron towards carbon so this compound becomes a ketone and the hydride ion which is separate from aluminum isopropoxide share its excess electron the positive carbon of acetone so after that uh, this ketone is formed aluminum ion is formed and uh, there is a anion which is uh, produced uh, from the acetone in the next step aluminum ion which is uh, produced in the step 4 will react with a tertiary alcohol which is formed after completion of the second step so there is a bond between oxygen and hydrogen in the tertiary alcohol and we know that oxygen is highly electronegative compared to hydrogen so due to its high electronegativity it withdraw the bonding electron towards him and the oxygen become negative and the proton is separated from the tertiary alcohol so after that the aluminium use aluminium ion use the excess electron uh, on the oxygen and with this anion it forms aluminium tertiary butoxide so after completion of this step so in the next step the proton which is separated in this step will react with the anion which is formed after step 4 so oxygen using its excess electron with proton it forms a secondary alcohol and after that the reaction will complete so we can see that the aluminium tertiary but butoxides again form in step 5 we use aluminium tertiary butoxide here as a catalyst so we know that catalyst always initiate the reaction helps to proceed the reaction but at the end of the reaction it remains unchanged so after completion of the reaction the secondary alcohol uh, is converted to its corresponding ketone and another alcohol which is produced uh, from this reaction which is corresponding uh, to the acetone we use in this reaction that is isopropyl alcohol this is a secondary alcohol so the reaction is complete in this step if we observe again the overall open air oxidation reaction we can see that 
when a secondary alcohol react with excess acetone in the presence of a catalyst aluminum tertiary butoxide the secondary alcohol will be oxidized to its corresponding ketone and the acetone which is used in this reaction will be reduced to its corresponding secondary alcohol that is isopropyl alcohol this is the overall open air oxidation reaction now i will discuss about the application of open air oxidation reaction so using the knowledge of open air oxidation reaction we can synthesize ketone from secondary alcohol and vice versa in organic reaction when we need to convert a secondary alcohol group to ketone group in that case we can use our knowledge of open air oxidation reaction moreover using the knowledge of open air oxidation reaction we can synthesize many pharmaceutically important compound for example progesterone the precursor of progesterone is pregnenolone so from the pregnenolone to progesterone conversion we can see in pregnenolone there is a secondary alcohol group so we have to convert the secondary alcohol group to ketone group so in that case we can use the knowledge of open air oxidation reaction again another example is vitamin a synthesis in vitamin a synthesis there is a step in this step uh, there is a secondary alcohol group and secondary alcohol group have to convert to uh, the ketone group so vitamin a synthesis also we can use the knowledge of open air oxidation reaction another example is synthesis of morphine in morphine synthesis we can also use the knowledge of open air oxidation reaction so there are some limited applications i mentioned here but you can also include other applications which is related to open air oxidation in every organic reaction there are some application but the reaction has some limitations also so now we will discuss about the limitations of open air oxidation first limitation of this reaction is reaction rate is very slow so we can consider it as a limitation second limitation is aluminum tertiary butoxide is the only choice as catalyst in open air oxidation reaction we have to use only aluminum tertiary butoxide as it is fixed no other choice that's why we can consider it as a limitation number three a large excess of ketone is generally used in this reaction we already mentioned that we have to use excess amount of ketone to proceed this reaction as we have to use excess of ketone so it's a little bit expensive so we can consider it as a limitations also and this reaction is only for the conversion of secondary alcohol to ketone not for the primary alcohol or tertiary alcohol so this is also a limitations of this reaction i already discussed about the theory mechanism of the reaction application and limitations of open air oxidation reaction that's all for this name reaction open air oxidation if you like my lecture video then don't forget to click the like button you can also share this video to your friends and can also put your comments lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel your subscription will encourage me to make more lecture videos for you all thank you